Hi everybody, welcome along to Friday Night Football. Tonight it's North Melbourne against Carlton. Now the Kangaroos haven't won a game since round nine. Carlton, very disappointing on Friday Night Football last week in Lee Matthews, the Blues. So much to play for tonight. Well, totally, after dropping the game last week, I mean, they're really on the verge. They're one game into the eight, as we know. The Kangaroos are always dangerous. They're not going to play finals footy, clearly. They're out of contention, but the ability to win these games that they must win is what Carlton has to do. The North Melbourne team, it's, it's, they've just had trouble scoring. Uh, they don't get the ball into their forward 50 a whole lot, and their scoring percentage have dropped away. David Hale, who's kicked 22 goals, has had such a bad month, he's been left out of the team. But they've still got plenty of height. Petrie, McIntosh and Goldstone. I always think when they've got Harvey, who's now got his sixth game back from that major, uh, missing seven or eight weeks. When they've got Harvey, Campbell and Thomas, they at least have got their maximum speed round the footy. And they're going to have to be their major goal kickers. Well, Carlton have made wholesale changes, six of them, just the one injury. Well, the ins, the names look OK, though. Walker looks OK. We've seen good Robinson play good football. Hadley you'll see him blocking a lot for Judd around the stoppages. He'll use his big body to try and uh, allow Judd to get a bit of space. Oh, helping has become really important for them around centre-half forward. Stevens can carry the football. I mean, last week, clearly, uh, they got forward a fair bit. They were inaccurate, kicked four goals, 16, but uh, when Favola only kicks one goal, they're going to need Favola to play well and Judd to play well. So finally, we're underway. And a pretty good crowd, too. Umpires tonight, McBurney, Rosebury and Ryan, and the opening bounce. Now the Ruckman touched the ball, Cruiser at the second attempt, Anthony, Gibson stolen though by Carrazzo, Russell did well, Scotland, how about this for a return, Stevens misses. Not his best effort. He started in the centre square, which is pretty interesting too, Stevens. Back after a month. Sent away to in, uh, prove his form, and he's a mighty fine player. Urquhart's kicked to centre wing. Little give by McIntosh. Anthony has been very impressive in the few games we've seen him. Petrie hasn't kicked a goal for a while, Petrie, but he's playing forward, and that's a lovely kick. And this bloke, as Dennis says, has kicked a goal recently, four of them last week. Don't often see the ball taken end to end, but that's exactly what North were able to do from that kick out. It was quick ball movement, play on at all costs. You mentioned Anthony in the call, his run to uh, to get involved in that bit of play. He ran 120 metres, I had a look at him, but good quick play, good ball use, and uh, they get their first shot at goal. Getting some footy in him at last, Jones, he's played the last six. He looked like he might be just about gone earlier this year, but... Four goals last week. And he's just hooked it. So Stevens misses at one end and Jones at the other. And it's all square. What was important too, I think, that Petrie came forward uh, to actually give them the transition through the half forward line. I think that's the area of the ground that the Kangaroos have really been struggling to get any penetration. Thornton in the pocket. Jamison again, a late withdrawal. Armfield awards the wing. Carrazzo in front. Ferrito can't keep it in. So boundary throw in at the interchange gates. Nick Stevens, much maligned. He was there for Carlton during the tough times. McIntosh goes after the footy. Gibson taken down by Gibbs and the umpire will do it again. Signs of the transition, isn't it, in the Kangaroos that Greenwood is now the guy they're giving the duties of the tag around the middle again and Brady Rawlings has been therefore forced to play permanent defence. Greenwood and Judd off the ball. Meantime, McIntosh got a hand to it. Judd didn't have the footy. Advantage will not be paid. I think it'll come back. The other, thing that, the other thing that Levi Greenwood was doing in the zone, North Melbourne players were setting up in the zone, but he wasn't a part of it. He just mm. went and manned up Judd one-on-one. -on -one. So Judd short to Joseph, and then Joseph kicks to the pocket. And O'Halpin and Favola were there. A good punch away by Grimer. Thought that was okay, Deb. I think there's, they say there's no such thing as personality umpiring, but I think Thompson will be free-kicked if he does anything mm. half illegal. They're really looking at the way he's defending. So Cruiser and McIntosh together. Carazzo's handball cut off by McIntosh. Probably wants the boundary lines. And the other Simpson. There's no doubt that he got warned of that before the game, didn't yeah. he? You don't often see that sort of uh, information being uh, transferred so early, but 
the umpire letting uh, Thompson know that he was on notice. Holding any bets for a kick. Come through. Holding jump up, Ray Rawlings. Here. So against Rawlings, bets. Right. Quickly on, gets a short to Carrazzo in the pocket. Carrazzo just lays it off, barely the 15. Russell comes up and takes the mark. Now goes infield to Robinson. So they're bouncing it around. That's good. If you're going to go in board like that, you've got to do it really quickly before the opposition defence can get uh, set. So good play by Russell to uh, look and do. Watching, I'm watching. Taking a leaf out of the LA Lakers book with a triangle hands offense down, there. Scotty, they worked a little triangle, bouncing yeah. it around. Here's Robinson. Oh, free kick. Oh, speaking of the contact, devil. Contact, free kick, kangaroos. Let go, Scotty. You guys have got the free. Just let go. High <laughs> tackle. Okay, I'll look for that. I'll look for that. <laughs> hey, here, if I see that, I'll pay the free, okay? Uh, All meanwhile, right, you've back told at the me, game, I'll watch it for it. Simpson lays it off. Good shepherd too to release Harvey, who comes down towards half for a terrible kick. Now tumbles in, takes the mark, goes back towards centre half back and gives. He gives quickly to Judd, brought down in a very good tackle by Greenwood, and then Gibson back to Power. Power's got time to use yeah. it, and he does. Thomas. Two one of the uh, most efficient ball users by foot in the competition, Sam Power. He uh, picks good targets and executes them very well. And you see here, Scott Thompson does get pretty annoying. And Fev, uh, he should know that the umpire's watching. That was a poor decision. And coming off the ground for his work, Fev. So mm. the big goal kicker in the match, you'd think, going in, comes off the ground. And Thomas gets the first. Yes, when you've got a shot from goal from 45 metres out and uh, one of your teammates gives the ball back to the opposition, that's not a happy time. And uh, in the transfer, certainly giving the ball to Judd. I mean, they give the ball to Judd all the time, but uh, Greenwood was about six inches off his off his tail. And it was good, good use too uh, by Power to find the uh, free player in the Kangaroos forward 50. Fev, just the one goal last week, getting a little reprogramming. Nine goals against the Tigers a couple of weeks back with a disappointing opening term. Complex man, Judd's got it, Gibson got him, McIntosh, Gibson over the football, got boot to ball, sent it towards half forward. Harvey, now Anthony across to McIntosh. McIntosh boots it inside the forward 50, Hanson! So when the umpire blew the whistle, I thought Hanson was going to get the kick. So did I. I thought Hanson was in front. I think we see why on the replay. We always do. Well, most of the time. McIntosh slides in, takes a mark, plays on. They work it around the outer side. Harvey. Got it from Powell, and then back to Anthony. And then Jeez. Anthony to Petrie. And that's good, a boundary throw. Since Liam Anthony runs hard, he runs to good spots, he always uh, puts himself in a position to receive and even uh, very early in this match, seven minutes in, he's been uh, he's been good for North. He's played the last half a dozen matches now, Anthony, and he's really made an impact. Play on! Play on! And so the McIntosh kick touched, Hadley caught, he's the inclusion for Jamison. Hurlihan to Scotland, to Russell. Oh, it turned out all right, here's Gibbs. Running through the centre, got around Campbell, mine, mine, and then mine. goes long to Cruiser over the back. Hands in the back. Hands in the back. Matthew Cruiser's free kick, hands in the back. Michael there now. Well, you knew Scotty was going to give away a free kick at that end, didn't you? <laughs> it was coming. Cruiser's kick. Oh, good mark. 